while everybody's enjoying it. This life is not fair. It's not fair. When I first started the gap here, it wasn't fun. Like, I was blaming God for being in this situation. Because I never expected to be... I never inspired it. What is your own? What is your own? What is your own? Are you crazy? Welcome, wonderful people, to my channel. It's Tariella. We do it differently. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. And I'm just going to do my makeup and talk to you about my gap year. Talk to you about 2021 and 2022 and yeah like, and how did i even get into a gap here so that's what i'm gonna do today i have a cold so that's why my voice is might sound a bit shaky um i'm starting off with this primer it's nyx honey do me up do me up um so this primer i've had it for a very long time most of like the main reason why i've had it for a long time is because i barely use it to say the least yeah i barely use it so off camera what i did with my eyebrows was put gel on it so i used eco salad gel and just brushed my eyebrows so that you know it's just in place my eyebrows are quite full so i don't think i'm gonna like add any eyebrow pencil to it or anything make sure you always wash your hands before you do anything like this okay <coughs> you just change like people really do change just just a side note let's talk about 22 oh oh yeah. so for you for those that are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe for me thank you and i am currently 18 and i'm in this gap here of mine um did i plan to do a gap year at the beginning at the beginning of year 13 absolutely not i mean i looked into it I wasn't really interested. I was interested, but then I wasn't. Like, I think, oh, that's a great idea, but I think I'm just going to be like everybody else and go to university. Because, like, I know I'm special in it. I know I do it differently, but come on. <laughs> I wasn't going to do a gap year. That was what was in my mind. But here we are, taking a gap year. And the reason why I'm taking a gap year is because I want to reapply to medical school. Um... Why didn't I enter into medical school the first time? Obviously, medicine is very competitive. It still is right now. I don't I don't even know if it's... It might even be more competitive right now. But my God's on the throne. And either way, I'm going to be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus. She gets. Yeah, so I didn't plan to take a gap year. But it's because like I was rejected in medical school. And I thought, you know what? On my results day, A-levels, I got A-star AA. So A-star for biology, AA for maths and chemistry. So I thought, you know what? You might as well just do a gap year because you've got the grade, babe. You literally got the grade. You got beyond the grade, on about the grade. And, sorry, <laughs> oh. And, um, like, you know, it saves you from doing an extra course, extra uni degree. So I said, I don't want to do biomeds. I got the offer from biomeds at Warwick, University of Warwick, but I don't want to do, I don't want to do biomed. I want to do medicine. That's what I want to do. And the reason why I want to do medicine is because like, I like the fact, there's multiple reasons. So I like the fact that you get to help other people, help other people. I know, very typical. But reason why I want to do it, because like, you're studying yourself. Like you're studying yourself. You're studying your, how everything's like, into into intertwining yeah how drugs things chemicals entering your body chemicals paracetamol how it interferes with your body's system how it works how everything works it's just like really interesting and like <clears throat> even studying the autonomy of the body that's interesting too I mean, one of the things I want to be doing if when I be a doctor is to be a surgeon. I want to study, I want to be in that specialty. And I think that's really, like, cool, you know? But obviously, I didn't make it. I didn't make the cut. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm taking a gap here so I can reapply for medicine. Um, has gap here been easy so far? no it has not been easy it really hasn't been easy because like no one really helps you so like when i was rewriting my personal statement yeah i wanted to know whether how to phrase it do i say i will 
do this and that because I haven't actually been a healthcare assistant to come and say, oh, I will be a healthcare assistant or say, oh, I'm a healthcare assistant for so and so amount of time in my personal statement. I can't say that if I haven't been that, you know, so I didn't know how to phrase it. So I was researching, there wasn't much um, resources available in that sense. And teachers, they're just not really helpful. Like, they weren't that helpful. Like, you read my personal statement, it said everything was good and you brushed it over. You like literally read it and called it a day. But you didn't read it in depth. You didn't give any tips. Whereas other people that have given it to you that are not even teachers, they're telling me, oh, you need to change this. This doesn't make sense. Type of thing that you're not really helping. You're not really involving yourself with students post sixth form. There's no help or encouragement in that sense. So I found that difficult. That aspect around September, August, quite difficult. But at the same time, like the moment I knew I was taking the gap here, I literally planned everything that I was going to do step by step and I will post a video that says how to plan your gap year because that's literally how I did it and it's it, like if you're taking a gap year or you're on a gap make sure you have a plan because honestly you don't want to start a year out of academics not knowing what you're going to do because this will all affect you and you need that work experience as well oh kilo chalet Guys, I think this foundation is slightly darker than my skin colour. Oh my gosh. I hate being... Hmm. I was about to say I hate being black. God forbid. Oh, God forbid. This is MAC, by the way. MAC. I shouldn't be a chemist. I shouldn't be mixing potion A, potion B. Foundation A, foundation B, just to get my match. It's not right. Ah! Guys, I wasn't even supposed to be doing my foundation. I was supposed to do my eyebrows first. This is not me. Forgive me. Back on to talking about gap here. So, um, I have experienced some form of like comparison. Like I've been comparing myself quite a bit to other people's lifestyles, especially those on Snapchat. Cause like, you know, when you're on Snapchat, you are practically watching other people's lives, especially when you don't have a job at the time. So around October, I didn't really have a job. I was unemployed, very. I mean, I was searching for a job, don't get me wrong, I was searching for a HCA job, healthcare assistant job, right? But I was practically unemployed. So there were times when I would go on Snapchat and literally see people have parties day after day after day, day after day, day, oh, day, day, kill a day, huh? Day after day after day, I'll be watching people partying, watching people in a club, watching people just doing, just having fun in it with their friends, just having a nice time while i'm here trying to get a job i'm here trying to revise my ucat this was around september i'm here trying to survive just to make it you know i'm here trying to do my personal statement while everybody's having fun while everybody's enjoying it. this life is not fair it's not fair and the most disrespectful thing is this government wants people to you know study medicine they have a shortage of doctors they have a shortage of professionals, healthcare professionals in the field of medicine. Yet they're making my life difficult. What is your own? What is your own? What is your own? Are you crazy? Is everything okay? I don't understand you. I don't understand you. It's giving madness. What? Let me not talk too much. I'm doing my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, you guys. But, yeah, I was comparing myself like crazy. Comparing myself like crazy to the point where I had to say stop. I had to say stop to myself. I had to, I, actually, I don't use that Snapchat. I, I use TikTok more than I use Snapchat because, obviously, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> um, because, like, you thought Instagram was the app to compare yourself. No, sweetheart. Snapchat is when you're really seeing people's lives. I mean, come on. Like, of course, yeah, like, not everything that glitters is gold, whatever. But you know what I mean? It's hard, it's quite difficult to remember that when you're in this position that I'm in, in a gap year. And that is why I decided to focus on a lot of things, you know, try and remove myself on social media, especially Snapchat, like reduce the amount of times I'm on Snapchat. I, I'm barely on Snapchat. I don't post on Snapchat. 
I mean, I don't go on Snapchat unless, like, just to check for someone's birthday to shout them out. Because you don't want to be, like, yeah. Also to check if anyone's text me, respond to any messages. And that's really it. Like, that's legit it. When you find out that you're comparing yourself, you need to remove that thing that's causing you to compare yourself. Because you have to remove it all. Oh my days. You have to remove it. And the thing is with comparison, yeah. When you compare yourself, you're not focused on your own life. You're distracted. You're distracted. And in this gap here, I don't have time to be distracted, you get. I only have like how many months left? Eight months left? Exactly. Telling me I have to be I should be distracted. God forbid. The Lord rebuke distraction. What? Another thing I dislike about this gap here. I'm gonna talk about my dislikes and likes, okay? There are good things, there are bad things. So another thing I dislike about this gap here is loneliness. So originally, before October, like I was mad lonely. Like I was there comparing myself and I was feeling lonely because like, all my friends continue. All my friends, they don't check on me. You people don't check on me. They don't call me, they don't check on me. But sometimes they do, can't lie. And obviously like they're busy because of uni work and stuff, which is actually understandable and you can't do much about that so yeah it's understandable but at the same time like you know you want to be remembered by somebody and my mind keeps going back to times memories where like i'm in class i'm surrounded by people and i start to miss six form because like i start to miss that congregation of people but when you're constantly thinking about the past like you are not going to progress in the present to improve your future because that's what was happening to me i was constantly thinking about the past constantly thinking about oh i wish you know i was in this room i wish i had this conversation again you know imagining how conversations could have been stuff like that that is like sad that is sad <laughs> sorry that is sad and that's something i do and it's i need to change i need to change Ooh, guys which album do you think is nicer this one or this one obviously this one uh, exactly mm. you know what eyebrows are not twins they are sisters yes like i was just my mind was just going left right left right left right left up and down i was like am i a soldier to be doing like that so around october my cousin came and she came from nigeria to study in um to study here so she's doing like she already has like a degree in nursing but she's studying here to do like an additional course for her degree and yeah like i have a companion you know because normally i'm a i'm an only child if you don't know now you know i'm gonna try a different um thing with my nose so i think this is the third time me trying it and it was quite good so this is how you do a reverse contour on your nose and then you see you'll see watch me so i'm using this dark concealer but you just do it everywhere you just poke it everywhere like so a contour brush and you brush it um Oh, a tip for you if you're like feeling lonely, draw closer to God. Because God is gonna be with you everywhere you go. Okay? Okay. So um what are actually my plans in this gap here? So I have plans in this gap here, as I said previously. And my plans are to like obviously get a healthcare assistant job. And I got that. That was my plan and I got that. So I started work in November 2021 and hopefully i'll continue working up to like august the pay is eight pound fifty as a healthcare system but you know what like it is what it is you know what i mean like it is what it is mate it's annoying because it's like you pay footballers thousands every week not every month every week every week me i'm trying to save people's lives don't worry i'm trying to save people's lives and you're paying people thousands for kicking a ball around and entertaining people 
but yeah that's i'm a healthcare assistant currently and i work four times a week and i have a half day on one of those days and it is from around 8 a.m to 6 p.m 6 30 p.m and that is my work day what do i do as a healthcare assistant i you know i record i basically i meet patients and then i record their body mass index i basically take their weights and their waist circumference take their urine and i put a dipstick inside it and then i check if they have glucose or protein if there's a color change and then i talk to them ask them questions do you have ask them about their medical history do you have any one in the family that suffers from any heart problems do you have any medical history of concern maybe asthma diabetes and blah blah talk to them you know encourage them about weight loss if they have any issues direct them to you know social programs like weight loss programs and stuff because we do that in our gp yeah, that's what i do that's what i do so on the first of december i went to a phlebotomy course and i learned about phlebotomy how to take blood so i can take blood now but i need to do it on an actual human being i haven't actually done it on a human being i haven't done it on a person so i'm gonna do that which i'm quite interested about but i'm gonna start doing observing and see i've been observing a lot of people but um i'm starting to, i'm going to do that in january so it's going to be a blood clinic where i'm going to be doing people's blood currently right now i'm just doing new patient checks which is what i described previously and it's kind of boring because sometimes the patients don't come up and then you're just there doing nothing but at the same time i'm getting paid <laughs> but still like you came here to get experience another thing that was on my list was to learn two languages um so basically i want to learn latin because with latin i get to understand the derivative of many words in the english dictionary and that will help me hopefully it will help me actually it will help me learning new key terms in medicine or in biomed whatever i get yeah and that will help me in university and yeah the other language i want to do is um french because i want to speak a different language i want to speak a different language so that when i go to different countries or where I, when i meet people who can't speak english properly but speak french i can speak it to them she get it. and that's fun that's different i currently can speak german because i went i done gcse german gcse i can speak a bit i got a seven in it but i mean like you know it's not really solid so i'm just gonna revise that as well and i'm gonna also do spanish so currently that's what i'm doing so i use duolingo i think i need to have self-discipline to um commit to learning a language so not just do it one day and then the next week you forget about it you know what i mean like you need to be consistent Tariela. and talking about consistency another goal that i want to achieve next year or this year whatever time you're watching this another goal that i want to achieve in 2022 is to post consistently on my youtube channel i want to post twice a week that's scary but i don't actually have a, i don't have an excuse anymore i want to post twice a week on my youtube channel um you know and be consistent like i don't have an excuse literally do not have an excuse so i'm gonna be doing that this satcha buttercup is actually amazing it is flipping amazing don't even talk to me you people that be no don't talk to me don't talk to me you guys knew that this exists yet i was not informed personally informed do you know how nice this powder is you don't know you don't know you don't know about it wow guys wow 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 no 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 you know at first when i saw this like when i actually saw this physically i thought hmm, it's gonna give me ash in the sense that it's too light for me but it's fine it's absolutely fine it's fine okay so another plan that i wanted to do plan is to get financially literate I want to invest do investments i want to know about investment stocks i want to know about everything i'm going to buy a bunch of books a bunch of resources learn 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 just to understand how to manage money because i am not going to be broke in this life my health 
and my money will not be my problem that's my prayer and that should be your prayer point my dear i need to be i need to know what i'm doing with money yeah and i need to know how to like maximize what i've got to my advantage and i also advise you to do that as well so i'm sorry about that also when i look into rent to rent i want to look into like all these like you know side businesses that i can do businesses i can do yeah where i don't need to post on instagram to support do you get and i need to learn about it i need to you know do all these things and i'm so excited to do that you know because like i have literally around eight months left to do it and get it sorted so that in university i want you to run helter skelter to pay for my accommodation to pay for food to pay for tuition fees whatever i don't want to be running up and down you know by the way and yeah i also want to be a social media manager i want to i want to i want to be everything i want to be everything i want to try out everything i want to do everything everything i want to do it because like i have the time what other time like this do i have and that is one good thing about being in the gap here you have the time to decide what you want to do in your life you can try a lot of things in this time like that's the most exciting thing about being in the gap here i think that's the only exciting thing to me and also traveling and enjoying your life enjoying my time outside education having that break which to me overrules other things that i experience like comparison loneliness blah 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 because honestly you can deal with comparison you can manage loneliness you can manage all these things and it's hard but you can it's manageable but and it's only for a certain period of time that's the thing it's not for life you know guys this concert has done its own oh, wow wow you say wow this year i don't feel like i've been that close to god if i'm going to be honest like i should have been i feel like there's other reasons there's like multiple reasons why first of all i can make a lot of excuses but i mean carry a lot at the same time you should still be close to god i think first of all like despite being in sixth form and doing a levels like i was still close to god in the sense that i would have time for god i would read the bible a lot more I would read the Bible a lot more. Even though I was going, I would make time out of my day to read the Bible, to analyze it. Not just to read it, to analyze it in depth. And it was really nice, it was really enjoyable. But right now, I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I'm just not really doing that as much as I used to, which is bad. And I want that to change in 2022 because I've always wanted to be a prayer warrior where I wake up in the morning. I am praying. Hmm? I wake up in the morning. I'm speaking in tongues at 3 a.m. It's me. Yeah, you're hearing noises. It's me. I'm speaking in tongues. <laughs> I want to go to war. I want to go to battle with demons. Yes. Uh, uh, I want to do that. I want to do that, but I haven't been feeling me, you know? I feel like when I first started the gap here, it wasn't fun. Like, I was blaming God for being in this situation. Because I never expected to be, I never inspired it. But look at me now, I'm in a gap here, and currently it's all right. But at the beginning, it wasn't fun. And if you're taking a gap right now, and you think, oh, if you think it's horrible, don't worry, it gets better. Just take the necessary steps to prevent yourself feeling lonely and to prevent yourself from comparison. Mm, but yeah, I'm gonna just do, do my eyelashes and my lip and i'm gonna come back okay hold on this is my final look i hope you guys enjoyed my video look at my look at my eyelashes look how the eyelash just really did something mm. this eyelashes really did something and um yeah so this is my look I'm not going to reveal my band because I'm I'm scared about what what we, what you could see underneath this lace. <laughs> but um, yeah, like this is the end of the video. Video. This is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that we do it differently and have a lovely day. Yeah.